Ear infections can be really hard to treat because dogs have got L-shaped ear canals, which means that it's really easy for them to get infected and not be able to clean it out well enough. On top of that, if they've got underlying allergies, infections will just keep reoccurring. Good boy, we'll watch it. Okay, that's gonna go down the ears. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, mommy. Oh, it's not gonna hurt, darling, it never hurts. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. In Sydney, Audrey is making a house call to check on a much-loved golden Labrador. So I'm on my way to see Hutchie and Jenny. Hutchie's one of my favourite patients. I've been seeing him for quite a while. Hi, Good Jenny. Morning, Audrey. How are you? Good. Hi, Hutchie. <laughs> Hutchie's been with us uh, since he was about six weeks old. He's five now. He's a big personality in this family. Loves being spoiled. <laughs> Audrey is a regular visitor as she tries to sort out Hutchie's recurring ear problem. Yeah, they've so, been a bit red again, yeah. um, as usual, you know. His ears get very red and sore, so he's uncomfortable sometimes, will shake his head, uh, irritated from it. Yeah, yeah, so the same problem. It's about the sixth or seventh time now that we've been treating him for these ear infections. Yeah. And his skin? Uh, skin's a lot better yeah. now, yeah. like uh, the hair's growing back and all yeah. that. But yeah, they're just the ears, just constant. Ear infections can be really hard to treat because dogs have got L-shaped ear canals, which means that it's really easy for them to get infected and not be able to clean it out well enough. On top of that, if they've got underlying allergies, infections will just keep reoccurring. We're going to have a look down those ears. I know yep. he doesn't like it. No, he doesn't. Um, especially <laughs> when they're sore. We won't move you off your favourite couch. <laughs> I'll come to you. I know. It's okay. It's I okay. Know, baby. It's I know. Okay. He's, he's seen the otoscope. I'm trying to look down Hutchie's ears, and it's always a battle with him. He knows the deal. He knows what the otoscope is. Good boy. Like, we'll watch it. Okay. That's gonna go down the ears. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, mommy. Oh, baby. oh it's not gonna hurt, darling. It never hurts. Good it's boy. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Done. Can Done. You see the other side. I'm gonna have to swap position yeah. with you, mama. Yeah. Sure. You're very good for number one. Can we do number two? Just one more little look. One more. One more little look. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Good boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> yes. Red. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah. I managed to have a super quick look down both ears canals, and I can see there's definitely infection going on. But you can see the canals are quite red, they're inflamed, there's a lot of discharge happening. Um, his eardrums look okay. Even though ear infections are quite common, not many people know that that can be triggered by an allergy. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the same sort of treatment that we always do. Uh, give it a good ear clean, give them some medicated drops to stop that infection brewing. Yep. But ultimately, I think we have to address what's going on and what's causing this problem. So let's give it a clean first, which usually he likes. Look, it's not the odd go. Cleaning Hutchie's ears is a completely different ball game. He loves it. <laughs> oh, you like this bit? <laughs> leaning against me, he's moaning, he's smiling, he's really enjoying it, which is good to see. Ew, that was in your ear. We're giving the ears a good clean, we've put the medicated drops in, and I'm confident that we'll get on top of this infection, but what's more important than that is just getting rid of the cause of the reoccurrence. This is his sixth or seventh bout now, and it obviously does affect his quality of life and the pain. He's probably got an allergy to something. The best way to combat that is to do a single protein diet trial where we just feed him one type of protein. Yep. So a good place to start is salmon, because I know he doesn't have much fish in his diet. So if we feed him Prime 100, it's just basically salmon and tapioca. We give this to him for about six to eight weeks and just see if that settles down everything. So buddy, I'm thinking, do you want to give this one a go? Okay, I haven't finished yet. Okay, you can have another one. One, one minute, one minute. It's looking really good because Hachi absolutely loves it. I think it's gonna be really easy to start him on this diet. All right, here you go, last piece. Yeah. Six weeks later, Audrey's eager to see if the new diet is helping Hachi's allergies. 
Hachi. How's he been going the last six weeks? He's doing a lot better. Oh, amazing. Yeah, his skin looks great. His yep. ears actually look really nice. They're not pink and red and bothered. Oh, he's doing a lot better now. He's a lot more happier and he's really enjoying the new food. Great, so even after six weeks on just the salmon diet alone, it's really yes. good to hear that it's tasty and he loves it. You can stay on the salmon for as long as you want. So I think we got there. Yeah. No more otoscope for you. <laughs> I think he likes that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.